Hi, I'm Tomari Tan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'm going to walk you through the installation and configuration of the new Dell Parstore Manager for Windows Admin Center. Dell Parstore Manager for Windows Admin Center enables IT administrators to manage their network storage using Dell Parstore systems via a Windows Admin Center solution extension. IT administrators can add Windows servers and clusters as Parstore hosts and host group, provision volumes and volume groups to servers and clusters, and monitor the capacity and performance of their Parstore clusters all within Windows Admin Center. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to connect my Parstore cluster to a Windows server via iSCSI protocol. Windows administrators who prefer to perform storage management operations from the same tool used for managing servers can manage their Dell Parstore storage array directly from Windows Admin Center. In order to install the extension, we navigate to the Settings tab and click on Extensions. We click on Available Extensions and search for Parstore. Next, we click on Install and wait for the page to reload. Now that the extension is installed, we click on the plus button and select the Parstore cluster box. We add the IP address of the cluster, username and password, and click Add. At this stage, we can start managing the cluster using Windows Admin Center. Once the relevant connections are added to Windows Admin Center, the Parstore Manager extension discovers the Parstore appliances and reports all the relevant information in the overview page for the Parstore appliance. We can add a host or a host group by navigating to the Compute section and clicking on the plus button. We select the initiator type and then we get a list of all the automatically discovered Windows servers and their initiators. We select the host and click Add. By navigating to Parstore Manager, we can see that a new Windows host object has been created successfully. Under Storage, in the left Tools pane, we select Volumes and click Create. On the Create Volumes dialog box, we enter the following information, name or prefix. When we create multiple volumes, this name is the base name to which a number is appended. Description, quantity, size, volume group, volume protection policy, volume performance policy, and placement in case we have more than a single appliance registered. On the map hosts dialog box that opens, we select the host or host group or both to map the volume. We can select whether to provide a logical unit number and type the number or have one generated automatically. By navigating to Parstore Manager, we can confirm that the two new volumes have been created successfully. A volume group is a logical container for a group of volumes which provides a single point of management for multiple storage resources that works together as a unit for consistency and easier management. Under Storage, in the left Tools pane, we select Volume Groups. On the Create Volume Groups dialog box, we enter the name of the volume group. Optionally, we can enter a description and choose the protection policy to apply to all volumes within the volume group. To ensure consistent protection across all members of the volume group, Select Apply Right Order Consistency to all volumes in this volume group. Next, we select the volumes and click Add. By navigating to Parstore Manager, we can confirm that the new host group object has been created successfully. If we go to the disk management of that Windows server and rescan the disks, we can now see the two new Parstore disks mapped to the server. I can initialize the disk and start running some random workload on those disks. By navigating to the overview page for Parstore Appliance, we can see very useful information 
about a cluster, such as live performance metrics and capacity metrics, cluster properties, and inventory. I really hope you find this demo useful, and thank you very much for watching.